Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And um, yeah, while the world is on a full lockdown, uh, everybody in quarantine, isolated, right? Uh, what better time to play some video games, right? Uh, your favorite video games. And uh, for me, this is going to be Path of Exile. And um, yeah, the new brand new league started on Friday, right? It's Tuesday right now. And I've been, been playing on and off. Uh, for a little while here and just wanted to make a small little video of a build that I'm playing and I, that I think is one of the most craziest uh, League starter builds that I've ever played maybe. So it's not an end game viable at the moment I think but if you get the help uh, up a little bit uh, which you should do and I will show you how to uh, then you could uh, tackle you know the end game in game content pretty easily i think because it has a lot of damage and uh, huge clear speed in my opinion so this is going to be a quick little uh, look at my build here uh, anyway uh, this is my character here uh, level 84 and i just am about to get into yellow maps so uh, nothing too special right uh, but i'm going to be doing a strand map here uh, which is a tier 5 map i'm just uh, using a 4 uh, five link right and ikimonjis so nothing really expensive here and i'm gonna show you quickly first uh, how the build plays and then i'm gonna talk over all my gear and my basic tree and the new cluster tools because they are pretty amazing i mean delirium is pretty crazy uh, the league mechanic might be a little bit too hard uh, but Everything else, like the new cluster tools, new skills, right, uh, new items, look pretty interesting, and I do want to play around with them. And we're, everybody is right uh, in a lockdown, right? Uh, not on a full lockdown. I guess only Italy is on full lockdown. But anyway, I'm not too worried because I have a game to play <laughs> for the next three months until the next league, right? Uh, but anyway, so. First of all, as you can see, my DPS is 35k, but if I swap weapons, I have 55k. Because I'm still playing the bugged version that uh, one uh, one-handed weapon is not uh, actually working at the moment. Dual, dual wielding with swords is bugged. I think they are working with jeweled foils, but I'm not so sure. I haven't tested it. Anyway, uh, first of all, the main thing that I, uh, makes my build great here is, of course, I'm playing double strike, right? But I'm playing double strike with Enduring Cry. Uh, and uh, I am taking this node here, the Battle Cry node, which makes my War Cry instant. So, why is this important? Is because I can move around and fight and still, you know, uh, use War Cry, right? My Enduring Cry. Mm, as you can see, I'm gaining rage. <laughs> and this is, this is the most ridiculous overpowered uh, node in the entire game maybe even uh you and uh, nearby party members gain five rage when you war cry this is the brand new cluster tool with the mob mentality node so this is i guess one of the main things to get that and preserve so we're gonna have a lot of burst damage uh, but how the clear speed is and how our how our speed is i'm gonna also pop blood rage here uh, so I'm gonna just show you how it works. So delirium, let's go in. Let's not die, because it is really ridiculously powerful and killing a lot of pills at the moment. Maybe they are going to be nerfing it. I don't know. I'm gonna try and use my plastics as well. And uh, also, I hate that I have to pretty much not pick up anything and come back for my loot later, which is kind of ridiculous. So I kind of hate the leak mechanic at the moment. I, ooh, nice some cool stuff uh, but I'm gonna skip it because <laughs> I don't have time to pick them up because uh, I want to do all my ooh, the entire map I want to do entire map I want to kill everybody right so of course what we can do is uh, also use our ball skills right now right but I'm not really <laughs> not really gonna use them if I really don't need the feel for them because Maybe I'm going to be used, using them if I can't kill anything, right? If I can, maybe there's one single mob that is like a unique mob or something like that, right? A lot of health. Then I'm gonna bop the uh, wall skills. 
but right now I don't really need to use them, right? As you can see, the clear speed is just absolutely nuts. I can zoom around like this is one of the fastest builds I have ever played. Uh, and I have played a lot of like zoom builds. Maybe like, I'm not, not flicker strike, but this is like absolutely ins insane in terms of clear speed. So, boss arena coming, right? Boss is also under delirium right here, right? So he's tougher to kill, right? But let's pop all of our skills and berserk, and he's dead. 258 <laughs> uh, DPS, right? So, pretty ridiculous damage. I'm gonna pick up some stuff here as well. Uh, I'm gonna actually come back later on here. Hopefully, I don't forget to come back here for my cluster jewel. Oh, please don't kill me. I'm too young to die. Okay, thank you. So, this is how the build works. As you can see, it's absolutely insane in clear speed and damage. I, the damage is absolutely off the charts. Uh, and I really feel that this build can go really, really high in the end game and do really well there. And I can't wait to get into, you know, some Awakener 8 level, you know, Guardian kills. It's gonna be something uh, really interesting to see. But anyway, so, what's my uh, build looking like? Def defense is here, maxed out uh, race, right? Nothing in really in chaos race at the moment. I do try to get some chaos race to make it like near 0% or something like that, uh, which should be pretty good. And armor, right? I'm gonna try and get it a little bit higher here. 30%, nothing too special, but nothing too bad either, right? Uh, but anyway, uh, so my gear overall, right, Ikimonjis, which are really nice, uh, really nice physical DPS, right, and they are pretty fast attacks, right, uh, 1.88 uh, attacks per second, so really uh, nice and cheap uh, options to get early on, and an Abyssus is pretty cheap as well, like 10c or something like that, uh, try to get it uh, with increased physical damage taken as low as possible, like 40% ideally, right, uh, and... Uh, Pretty, maybe get, you know, 110% uh, plus melee critical strike multiplier rate. But it gives a lot of freaking damage, so it's pretty good to get. Uh, so moving on here, as you can see, I have a chest piece, right? I do want the pop, uh, the physical pop chest, right? But it's going to be a bloody expensive uh, cost, right? Uh, and the cheap option that I went was I got this uh, attack have plus one critical. I didn't even go... Uh, for the tier 1 because it was just so cheap to get it uh, versus uh, tier 1 it was I, I, I don't remember how much I paid for it but it was over like three times cheaper or something like that so it, it didn't make sense to get 1.4 percent critical strike chance right but it uh, gives you a lot of damage and also nice life rate and a little bit resist but it's early on in the league and I don't have my money yet uh, to buy some uh, really great stuff but as you can see i just demolish everything at the moment uh, well at least in n tier 5 maps right uh, but, but as ggt made so much changes in the atlas you can pretty much do white maps in the entire region of all the maps right so there's a lot of uh, maps to do even in white section and whites can get you know pretty decent as well so i'm not missing out pretty much anything right now and uh, i'm just trying to get my health pool up a little bit here uh, maybe getting a better belt or something like that right uh, now moving on from the abyss and from the chest piece right coming to the amulet here just try to get a physical role on it and a critical strike multiplier role a really good one and the plus one melee strike range pretty important here because we are melee, right? We are double strike, so we want to get our melee range as long as possible, so we can, you know, clear off screen pretty much, right? That's that's the idea what we're trying to do here, right? We can get plus one melee strike range on the gloves as well, but I'm testing out and hemophilias feel pretty good. Uh, they're really cheap, right? And they give us uh, bleed pop, right? Which uh, you know makes the clear uh, a lot better, right? But as I'm using melee splash, I I tried and tested and I didn't feel that the bleed pop was that important. So maybe I'm also going to be uh, uh, taking out the uh, hemophilia gloves, especially when I get physical pop on my chest, right? And then I get a lot of life here, attack speed ideally, right? And maybe some physical damage as well, so, and resist, right? Uh, but yeah, a lot of life here, so that would bring us our life up uh, a bunch as well. And 
at the moment in my passive tree, I'm just gonna be taking only life nodes. I don't take anything uh, damage for anything else. I'm just going to be taking life nodes uh, from here on. So I'm gradually gr getting into raid maps and I'm gradually getting more and more life and my damage is still going up <laughs> as well because my gems level up, right? Uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, try to get this amulet really, really cheap, actually. And you can get um, even cheaper if you get some mods that you don't want, and then just, you know, use Anol Orbs. Or if you have the craftable, right, plus one Meta Strike, it, it's like three Alks or something, this, this craft. So it's really cheap craft. This is a really insane amulet, in my opinion, for that price. Uh, anyway, moving on, uh, yeah, just try to get a um, level 12 Assassin's Mark on hit... Uh, Curse uh, ring, right? Um, it's gonna be like 30c or something like that. Uh, if you get it on a random ring, but two stones are like 60c, I think, or even 90, I think. Uh, but anyway, I just crafted this uh, myself, used alteration orbs, and it was pretty easy to get. Uh, so that's that. The other ring, physical damage to attacks, critical strike chance, or uh, use a steel ring for physical uh, damage. And uh, get a lot of accuracy, because we need accuracy on one of our items, and I think rings are pretty good for it. So 374 accuracy rating is pretty nice here, plus a lot of resist, right, that we are uh, in short supply, because we use so many uniques, and some life as well, right. And uh, moving on to the belt, right, just flat life and resists, pretty much it, right. Uh, what I'm trying to get is percentage life as well here, and a lot more life and uh yeah that's what i'm trying to get here uh now the boots i have dale win here if you've dealt a, uh, a critical strike recently but as you can see i'm losing a, lo a lot of other stuff like resists and life and stuff like that i'm thinking at the moment it's not even worth it anymore uh because uh in previous leagues uh, i crafted dale win plus elusive on boots but it's, uh, you're going to be lucky if you get movement speed or life on it. Uh, not to talk about resist rate. And Tailwind, I mean, is pretty good. But Elusive, again, we get from a cluster. Uh, cluster shoe. Wait, where was it? No, no, no. It was here. <laughs> I, I made a mistake here. Yeah, we do get Elusive, but on kill. Now, when we craft it, it's going to be on critical strike, but... I think on kill is still pretty good. Elusive just gives us, you know, movement speed and dodge chance. So it's not anything related to damage pretty much. And movement speed, I think we have an enough. So I can lose Elusive from the boots. So we only need, pretty much we need Tailwind, right? But it's not that important, in my opinion. So perfectly fine to get a ton of life, right? A ton of resists and you're pretty good uh, there. Now with the gloves, right? I'm using Hemos, but as I said, I don't even think that the uh, bleed pops are so good uh, when I'm using Mele Splash, because Mele Splash is the one that is actually doing all the clearing, uh, with of course Ancestor Scroll, right? Uh, so I guess I'm going to be changing it out, but that is, as it was just like 1C, it's, for 1C it's perfectly fine, even up until my level here, right? Uh, so Hemos, really great choice, if you're going to be changing it out, Get claws with attack speed, physical damage, and uh, a lot of life, and some resist rate. So, and if you can, get something more, like plus uh, one melee strike range, something like that. Before, I uh, used calling strike and intimidate gloves, right? Hard to get mods, and then you're going to be scuffed out on life and stuff like that. But now cluster shoes <laughs> come in and ping us. Cursed enemies are intimidated. And... Cursed enemies have going strike. Absolutely ridiculous tools. Uh, anyway, uh, that's uh, kind of going to be it for the gear, I guess. I also took uh, uh, Cinder Swallow's Urn to get us a nice recovery rate. Ideally, you get crit chance as the uh, unveiled mod here, but it's like twice as expensive, so it doesn't make sense for me at the moment. I have enough damage, uh, so I didn't bother with it. And Lion's Roar, of course, and... Uh, yeah, 24% uh, more melee damage uh, during effect. I just bought a 20% one and then as uh, Divine Orbs are really cheap at the moment and the 20% versus 24 or 25% is almost double the price. 
Then I just used one divine orb and got to 24. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's a small little trick you guys can do. I have some amulets here and as you can see they're pretty close to mine, right? And what I want to do is use an null orb here to get the increased rarity off here and you know just uh, leave the crit multi and physical damage to attacks uh, alone right and then use multi mode and craft life on it uh, craft uh, melee strike range and uh, i don't know maybe a resist or something like that right uh, so that's ideally the plan uh, but anyway that's uh, that's a bit about it for the gear so the best of three here i'm gonna link leave my uh, base pin in the description so you can just copy paste from there right uh but overall uh pretty simple uh coin that took uh matthew's build and uh moved outward with it a little bit some tiny uh things that i uh, did differently uh which is pretty much the cluster tools right <laughs> and i took this battle cry node right uh so uh, yeah matthew was uh, the guy that you know made me really want to play double strike again and I thought with these uh, brand new cluster shoes that had mob mentality, like nearby ma um, party members gain five rage per second, I was like, holy god damn, it's going to be absolutely bonkers now. So yeah, uh, what I did was take Battle Cry, which, you know, uh, uh, which makes our Battle Cry instant, right? Increases War Cry, uh, cooldown, recovery speed using War Cry's is instant, right? And we get some War Cry buff effect as well here, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, uh, but overall, yeah, just, you know, some crit multi uh, jewels with some resist, right? Uh, to get us going in a good direction, right? Uh, but the cluster jewels, yeah. What I chose uh, was to take these and try to get as low as uh, possible number of passive skills, right? Uh, so you don't have to travel too far uh, with extra points right that you don't really need right like 15 ingress it's nice but i don't i want this one point under five percent life right ideally and uh, yeah i took mob mentality this was the only thing that i really wanted to get right so you can search it from path of exile raid right just get this and you're good to go pretty much uh which grants you five rage uh bird war cry and that, as we are war crying all the time that's absolutely insane plus when we get to a boss and we berserk, right, we can still push Enduring Cry, right, and we still get, gain 5 rage really, really quickly. So berserk lasts a lot longer, which is absolutely insane. You don't need to kill anything, you don't need to take the uh, Grave the Slaughter uh, passive as well. It's just absolutely insane. Uh, now, the other note here... Uh, there's a couple of war cry nodes that were really nice. Uh, this was the easiest to get, right? And it's pretty expensive. Mob mentality alone costs like 35c or something. Uh, so with a good, uh, good secondary passive is pretty expensive. But ideally, there was like crit chance and something like that during war cry. Uh, and mm, you know, minions are or like enemies are intimidated when you war cry, right? Uh, but we're using this curse that al already gives us intimidation right and uh, yeah one s a small jewel socket uh, along with this right so we can uh, go further out and get no witnesses which gives us you know elusive on kill which is absolutely insane in my opinion and what i like to do with the small passive uh, jewels cluster jewels is find something with chaos res because chaos res is really hard to get right and if you need to travel anything it's better to get some some chaos rays at least right anywhere with, that we can uh, in my opinion uh, and the other jewel that i decided to take i decided to do do jewels right and uh, i went here and uh, main points here master of fear and wish for death so calling strike as we are using you know assassin's mark on it we're uh, cursing everybody right and they have calling strike so that costs uh, that means a lot, especially for end game like Delirium bosses that have a fuck ton of life rate. So taking off like 10% of their health pool is pretty amazing in one shot, right? And also intimidation is pretty nice as well. 10% more damage, right? Uh, but anyway, this this is uh, my build here. I hope I covered everything that I possibly could, right? Uh, and yeah, guys, I mean, this build is just absolutely insane. Melee, right? Supposedly really bad. 
not anymore in my opinion absolutely crazy clear speed crazy single target damage and with pretty much i i'm still on five link right guys I, i'm still using five link with clear speed uh metal splash and ancestor call i could take these out and replace them with uh, uh metaphysical and ruthless if i want to do like proper end game bosses or something like that right so then i think i i'm going to be using these so i just you know do this right that's it <laughs> pretty much right um but anyway uh this is my build here hope you guys liked it i mean if you have any comments or questions leave them down below in the comment section and uh, yeah uh, if it works out well i'm gonna do an update video as uh, how it works in proper end game as well in end game tier like tier 16 red maps with like i don't know 10 plus modes 16 plus modes uh corrupted maps right how it works there and uh, of course end game bosses right but i i feel that this is going to be a pretty strong build uh, i don't know if i could did go over my gems even uh, but i'm using cast uh, cast when damage taken with immortal goal here right uh, i tried out also uh, i tried out also multi shell right uh, but i felt that immortal goal is better because we get a ton of uh, you know elemental less elemental damage taken and physical damage taken for you know uh, one second right uh, that works out much better in my opinion at the moment of course blood rage right and uh, what i ideally want to use of course is uh, flesh and stone and uh, i don't know how i'm gonna do it but i'm gonna use an enlighten somewhere maybe ditch something somewhere maybe the stone golem is, has got to go and uh, then gonna use enlightened right uh, so i can use flesh and stone uh, which is pretty pretty nice as well right uh but other than that yeah uh my main link yeah uh i'm using double strike right uh, with brutality as a goal, goal impale support and then a splash rate so the clear speed is pretty nice and the damage is still really nice with the wild skills here and uh yeah ancestor walls ward shift with brutality ruthless melee physical damage really nice uh summa stole golem uh skitter was really powerful in this game uh, berserk and precision at level one right so a little bit uh, accuracy and critical strike uh, chance uh, but yeah berserk is just a must-have with our uh, rage building uh, build at the moment here so it is a bit different than Mattel's uh, double strike build right uh, but yeah I really 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 love it and uh, yeah I can't wait to see how it performs later on in the game but anyway thanks for watching the video game a bit too long i think uh but anyway this is this is the build thanks for watching see you later ciao for now